Welcome to Company Research. In this video, we're going to look at how to research the company specifically using two library databases. The first one is MarketLine. In MarketLine, we're going to look for a company profile, and hopefully we can find a SWOT analysis. We're also going to look in Canadian Newsstream, which searches newspapers across Canada to get a sense for the public perception of this company. Like many people, you might be tempted to start your research at Google. But instead of searching Google right away, I'm actually going to use it just to take me to the Humber Libraries. So I'm going to type in Humber Libraries. Once I'm at the library homepage, I'm going to type in the keywords Company Research into the Discover box. This is going to take me to a special page that has links to the databases we want to use. In your search results, you should see a search result that says Company Research by Caleb Domsey, and there'll be a small picture of me there. This is the page you want to go to. Once you're on this page, there are links to the databases we're going to look at today. The link to MarketLine is there, and the link to Canadian Newsstream. You might think it would be faster to just Google the name MarketLine and go that way, but in fact, the links on this page have special code in them that authenticates you as a Humber student so that you get access to the information within. These databases aren't open to the public because they contain specialized information. So the only way to get access is to authenticate as a Humber student. To log into these databases, your Humber username and password is all you need. This is MarketLine. MarketLine is a company and industry research tool that also includes case studies and other news about organizations. We're only going to take a brief look at MarketLine, so there is lots more information here you could explore than what I'm going to show you today. All I'm going to do is type in the company name that we've been researching so far, Nike. I could change some of the settings in this drop-down menu, but I'm actually just going to leave it all at its default settings and press search. In MarketLine, the search results are clustered. So they've clustered some information under industry profiles, industry profile archive, and case studies is what we can see right away. If I wanted to look at a report on the Canadian footwear industry, I could, but first let's see if we can get that company profile. I'm going to scroll down. Past case studies in the case study archive and past the analyst insights, there's a list of companies that have come up in our search results. The first one is Nike, so I'm going to click on that. This is an overview of the company. Here I can see that this report was published on the 14th of February, 2020. If I want to look at a profile, I can expand that from the menu. This will give me a quick business description of what Nike's up to, and I can see some of their products and services, their corporate strategy, their key locations, and some of their key employees and a history of the organization. One of the best features that researchers often look for in MarketLine is the SWOT analysis. Here I can see the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats facing Nike. If I'm interested in one of their opportunities, like a positive outlook for the global e-commerce market, I can click on that from the opportunities list, and then they'll expand on it below. And it will tell me more about the positive outlook for global e-commerce that Nike is able to capitalize on. If I'm worried about challenges or threats to Nike, I can look at these just listed below. So there's the counterfeit goods market in this case, or intense competition. So here's how I can quickly come up with these items that, remember, are part of our checklist. If you're doing your research before you start your report, you might want to just gather all the information you need and then read over it and write your report later. To do that, you should export all the reports you find in the library databases. For example, in MarketLine, I can click the Export button and then I can choose between PDF or Microsoft Word format for the report itself. After clicking it, it downloads to my computer and I can save it for later. That's a quick and easy way to use MarketLine to get more information about your company. Now let's look and see what we can find in Canadian Newsstream. This interface looks a little more complicated than MarketLine's, but it's because we're going to search across every single newspaper published in Canada every day, and this is going to allow us to see what journalists have been reporting on about Nike. All I'm going to do is type in the organization name, Nike, and leave all the other settings at their default. And then I'm going to click search. When my search results load, I can see that the database has found the word Nike across all kinds of news articles, 52,000 of them, and in a lot of cases they've just mentioned Nike somewhere in the article. To make this search better, I'm going to make one change. So I'm going to click on the Modify Search link. Instead of searching for Nike in Anywhere, I'm actually going to change the Anywhere drop-down to make our search much more specific. Because news is published every single day across the whole country, there's a lot of information that we need to filter out. And to do that, I'm going to use the document title. What this is going to do is it's only going to show me search results in which Nike is in the title of the article. 
so that hopefully we get articles that are more focused on Nike. Now I'm going to run the search. Okay, there's one last step that I want to do in this database, which is limit the search results a little bit further to just three big national newspapers that as business researchers, it'd be good for you to be familiar with. I'm going to scroll down until I see the publication title on the left hand side. It's one of the refinements. I'm going to expand it and then I'm going to click on the link to more. Under this menu that pops up called publication title, I can actually choose to include only the newspapers I'm interested in. Here I'm going to recommend three newspapers that you should always be interested in looking at when you're doing company research in Canada. Include the National Post, include the Globe and Mail, and include the Toronto Star. The good thing about including these three newspapers is that they all have national coverage and that they all have a slightly different perspective. After clicking apply, I now can see some of the same articles as before, but now I can see new ones as well. And if I scroll down a little bit further, I can see there's an interesting article from August of 2019 where Nike was under fire for how it was treating its pregnant athletes. So here's a very short article, but it details Nike's approach to its pregnant athletes and how those have changed under public scrutiny. So this is a good example of information you wouldn't necessarily find on Nike's website, but gives you an insight into the culture of the organization and their business practices when it comes to the athletes they sponsor. If I want to save this article as a PDF, because I'm going to use it later in my research, there's a menu to save as a PDF. Other options in the menu include generating an APA citation for you or emailing the article to yourself. So that's using Canadian Newsstream to get a sense of the public perception of your organization and to better understand its culture as well. So if you're keeping track on your checklist, we're doing fairly well. Okay, so so far we looked at the first two databases on the Company Research Research Guide. We looked at Market Line to find a company profile, and we looked at Canadian Newsstream to get a sense of the public perception of our organization. That's it for using our company research databases as you begin your company research.